This is where we had uh, left off um, Moses. Uh, did he murder or kill the Egyptian or the man of Kemet? I was thinking about that as a title. Did Moses murder the man of Kemet? <laughs> And then sister wife actually said, and I got to give you this. She said, said, uh, or the Egyptian uh, CO, correction officer. And I saw the thing. It was like Moses went out into the yard, right? You know, he went out into the yard because in a sense, Egypt had become for the, for the Hebrews at this time had become like a jail bondage. Right. Almost like they have our brothers, you know, it's, the, it's not a plantation. It's a prison. You know, they talk about prison planet. Well, we're dealing for prison, prison nation, prison country. And this is what happened in, um, Egypt. Now, some might not want to, you know, some want to romanticize, uh, Egypt, but we're not going to really go there with them, you know, because that doesn't get us anywhere. We have to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, and, and Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, uh, Shemot shows us the ugly side. Well, let's get into continue where we were. This will be the part three, right? This will be the third uh, video in the set. So if you're just checking this out, there are, um, you know, two other videos in this particular set prior to this. So we was here at verse, at verse uh, 14. Let us just do this. Uh, excuse me. The camera going to jump a little bit. Okay. want to put the... You know, put the the cord there so that we will have enough, you know, um, current to go through this right here. You know, technology, so-called technology. But this is this is the truth, my brothers and sisters. So let's check this out right here. It was that verse fourteen? So what we know is that the word, just to recap, that the word for smiting and slewing that's used in Exodus chapter 2 according to the KJV the King James version when we look into the Hebrew and why we say King James is one of the best is because it's through the King James since it was translated based on the Hebrew text now that we have the Hebrew text digitalized in the word this word software also blue letter bible we like the classic but there's you know there, there, there's another version other version and other softwares that you can actually go through the text and wherever there's some questionable you know word like did Moses murder People say he murdered, they say he killed, and they say it's all the same thing. This is why no grows continues to say no justice and no peace. When they recognize themselves as the once lost but now found black sheep of the house of Israel and their true identity, right, in the eyes of the Almighty and the Moshiach, then there will be justice and there will be shalom, right, as above, so below. That's Jerusalem, right? Yerushalayim. Anyway, verse 14 of Exodus chapter 2 says, let's just recap this for a moment. Let's recap this. So we know the word naka. Naka means to smite. Naka, like a knock. Like, you know, he'd knock him out. He'd knock him down. He'd knock a this, knock a that, right? Um, verse 13, it says, and when he went out the second day, and we say this is like the Monday, Right, which is the second day in the week. Behold, two men of the Hebrews strove, right? They strove, and we went into that word. That word right there was um um not ah, right? Strove, they quarreled together, and he said, Moses said to him that did the wrong, wherefore smitest, right? The word smitest is naka. Now, when the verse that's a controversial verse. Right, uh, among those who don't study, is verse um, is is verse uh, verse twelve. Verse twelve it says, and he slew. Right, the word slew is naka too. If we go to um, verse um, the verse before it, where the Egyptian or the Mitrami and an Egyptian smiting, we have the word naka as well, and you can see the word naka over there as well. All right, it's coming up on that side and not the other side. You know, you see, sometimes it, there it goes right there. You can see this very clearly. All right, we have Naka, right? So 
there's the, the Hebrew word aratzah, right, that we have in the Decalogue or the Ten Words. The so-called Ten Commandments is one commandment. When you recognize this one commandment with ten words, it's the Decalogue, right, and not the so-called Ten Commandments as you've been told, then that wipes out that whole thing about, oh, he stole the Ten Commandments, and I, because there's no such thing as Ten Commandments, it's Ten Words. He stole all ten words, for real? Let's compare it. And the comparison will show you that they lie. They're following the European Egyptologists who could only compare one great piece of ancient black um, morality, right, with the other um, ancient black morality, and that's the Bible. This is where all these things, oh, it's just like the Bible. This might be the original Bible. And then a lot of... Um, um, uh, black, uh, half conscious people who are half conscious because the half of the story concerning the black Hebrews or the Ethiopian Hebrews, we being the once lost black sheep of the house of Israel seems to elude them, right? Um, so we have the word naka here. So the Egyptian, he naka, he struck, right? Um, lightly or severely, literally or figuratively, right? Um, a Hebrew, one of his brethren. That's verse, uh, Verse um, 11, right? In verse 11, then we go to verse uh, 12, and Moses looked this way and that way, and when he saw there was no man, he slew, and they say, oh, he slew, but then that's the same, that's the same word right here, Naka, as well. So he basically returns him what he did to his Hebrew brethren. You, you Naka, you knocked my Hebrew brethren, I knocked you. But in that knock, the Mitrami, or the Egyptian died. And we know this has happened where people have had conflicts and not really intending to kill anybody. They call it in so-called law. They call that something like second degree or unintentionally. They have all these kind of names, but it's not, it's not premeditated. So premeditated murder is what we find in the 10, in the 10 uh, words called the 10 commandments where it's aratsa. The H7523. I know for some this might be too much mathematics, but this is the sort of Hebrew mathematics we got to do. So we will know the, you know, the true sum, right? The true sum. So, um, he went, he went out the second day. Behold, two men of the Hebrew strove together and he said to him that did the wrong, to him that did the, ro the, the, ro the, ro the ro uh, Rosha, the Rosha, right? Or the Rasha, right? The wrong. Right, the resia, right? Um, morally wrong, bad, so forth and so on. The guilty, the condemned, right? The guilty, the condemned, the wicked man, the one that did the wrong. He said, "Wherefore smitest thou thy fellow?" So this one was knocking the other guy. So we have knocker at every point. The Egyptian was knocking, you know, the Hebrew, right? He struck him, right? Moses struck the Egyptian. He died the Egyptian, right? And then the next day he went out and saw two, two Hebrews and he said, why to the wrongdoer, why did you strike the other one? Right? So what was the response? Here's where we was at in the last part, right? Just to complete this right here. And he said, who made thee a prince, a sar, and a shafat, or shafat, right? A shafat, a judge, Right. Um, who made you a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill? Now, notice what the word kill right here. The, the word kill right here is interesting. Let's see if we can bring this up on the other side over here. Uh, let's see if we can bring this up on the other side. OK, we might have to do it the other way right there. Let's just turn the camera over here. OK, um, the word is harag. Right, the word is harag. Now you notice that the word harag has not been used in this section, has not been used at all in this section, and this is the word kill. So when people say, "Oh, Moses killed him," as though it was to smite with deadly intent, that's what the word harag mean. Right, to smite with deadly intent. Right. So we have these different terms let's bring this up right here so you probably can see this as well let's move this over here you can see the word front and center here we go harag right harag right there we go 
harag. To smite with deadly intent is a primitive, it's an ancient root word, Afro-Shemitic word, um, to destroy, um, out of hand, kill, murder, murderer, put to death, make slaughter, slayer. All right. So notice that. I want you to pay attention to that because when ones be saying Moses killed him, no, it was, it, it was the wrongdoer. Notice that. It was the wrongdoer among the Hebrews. And these are these so-called Kemite niggas. They're basically Hebrews because mainly them who are regurgitating this, this, this European, um, you know, this Gentile minded nonsense. These no grow, these no grow Hebrews, you know, Gentile minded, no grow Hebrews, right? Um, Harag. So they do the same thing that this no grow did, right? And so here we bring this over here and like to use this right here as a contextual. And let's bring this once again over here again. Let's see if we can bring this front and center. Okay, so here we go right here. So it was the wrongdoer, right, who said these things. Because this, this is like what these ones who deny, right, the truth of our Hebrew, right, and Israelite-ish identity, right? They say a lot of ish when they try to avoid we being Israelite, right? Um, he said, who made thee a prince and a judge over us, right? Intendest thou to kill me, to harag me, to smite me with deadly intent? So when you read it, you know that Moses did not intend to smite with deadly intent. He saw his brother getting hit and he hit his brother. This is something all y'all would say, man, if you do something to my brother, I'll do, I'll hit you. You, you hit my brother, hit my sister, I'm going to hit you. Right? Right. You know, but then you have other no grows that would then try to amp it up. You know, it's like he was this, this Hebrew, just like these Hebrews was like dry snitching, so to speak. He was snitching, right? Intendest thou to kill me as thou killest the Mitzrami? He's trying to, you know, he's dealing with the down presser, right? The down presser man. Right. And that's how some of these, right, some of these and those are seemingly content, right, seemingly content. Let's see what's going on here. Seemingly content in this madness. OK, this thing just flipped up. Right. This technology, technology. Let's get back to verse uh, 14 right here. Right. Get back to verse uh, 14 so we can deal with the rest of this. OK, here we go right here. Okay, this thing keeps flipping up. This thing keeps flipping up. I want to say again. Um, there we go, right there. Okay, so he said, um, okay, so now he's saying, so <laughs> this is what's interesting. Cause I think what, what was happening, this Hebrew's trying to cover himself, right? He probably was seeking to strike his fellow with deadly intent. But now he's saying that Moses 